Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tammy and this is Happiness Created. Today's video is farmhouse, 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 and farmhouse. More on that in a bit. DIY number one. So I got these milk bottles at Hobby Lobby. They were $9.99, I got them for 90% off. And then I have this, I don't know what it is. <laughs> the wooden piece it's from target from a little bit ago and i painted it with some plaster chalk paint and truffle and then i am going to take more of the plaster and go over the truffle with a very high dry dry very heavy dry brushing whoo baby i got it i got it out um, anyway, <laughs> I am doing the legs with the plaster and then I'm going to go over the entire box with the truffle, as you can see right here. Now, once everything's dry, I have these rub-on transfers from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to use this Farm Fresh flowers and um, I do use some of the flowers and some of the gardening tools and I do some rub-on transfer on each side of this box so that I can use it either way. Now, originally I was going to glue these milk bottles onto this base, but then I decided against it. That way I can put whatever I want in it. But for now, I have these milk jugs with some lavender and I think it came out super adorable. Let me know what you guys think. So this video is part of a monthly open playlist. This month is a farmhouse decor. It's hosted by Amanda from Six Kids in a Glue Gun. And the co-hosts are Chantel from Crafty Hints and Brenda from Rustic and Lace. I will have all of their channels as well as the playlist in my description box down below. Once you're finished with my video, head on down to the playlist and check it out. Okay, DIY number two. I have these wood blanks from Amazon. I painted them with the plaster chalk paint. And then I had a bottle of 
um, almost empty bottle of the truffle chalk paint. So I added some water to it and now I use it as a stain. I have these bamboo sticks I got from Amazon. By the way, anything I mention that is from Amazon will be in my storefront down below. So if you see anything that you like, head on down to my link and you will find it in one of my folders. <laughs> so, all right, so now I'm just brushing it on, taking a paper towel and wiping it off. Now I have these beautiful rub-on transfers from Essential Stencils. They sent these to me and oh, I absolutely love them. They're so nice to work with. So now that I, I cut out what I needed out of the stencil, I mean the rub-on transfers from Essential Stencils. And now I'm taking my bamboo sticks and I am just cutting them to size using my miter shears, which I also got off of Amazon. Once I have the four long pieces cut, I am just taking some wood glue from the Dollar Tree and some hot glue, and I'm going to attach the long pieces to this wood blank. And then I am going to go back and, well, I'm gonna clamp these on um, first. <laughs> and then I am gonna go and take some more of the bamboo sticks and I will cut the shorter sides to size and then I will use the wood glue and hot glue on those as well. Once I have the frames done, I'm going to take the rub-on transfers and I am going to add them to my new picture frame. <laughs>
once all of the transfers are on, I'm just going to take one of those chippy brushes from the Dollar Tree and some of my homemade <laughs> stain. And I'm just going over very lightly with the uh, watered down truffle. And I just wanted to kind of dirty it up a little bit. But that's all I did for the front. And then I took some of the twine from the Dollar Tree and I made a knot on both ends and hot glued it to the back of the wood blank to use as the hangers. And that's it for these. I absolutely love how these turned out. I think that the dry brushing is just enough to make it mwah, beautiful. Let me know what you guys think of these. I wanted to let you guys know that I am on Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. I also have a buy me a coffee link if you would like to support my channel monetarily. But either way, stop on by my social medias and say hi. I would love to hear from you all. DIY number three. I have this barn I got from Hobby Lobby on clearance after Christmas, 90% off. So I'm just gonna take that bow off and then i used those two colors the truffle and i can't remember the name of the other one and i totally missed it so i forgot to hit record when i put the rub-on transfers on but i got these rub-on transfers off of amazon and they're almost like a sticker but you do have to rub them to get them on and i love how this came out I made a bow with um, that jute or the, the, oh my good grief, you know, you know what I'm talking about, that stuff <laughs> from Dollar Tree. And I just wrapped it around my finger a few times and then tied it in the center. But I love how this barn came out. Let me know what you guys think of this one. DIY number four. I have this wood round and I am painting it with the white Waverly chalk paint and the rich black. And guess what? I forgot to hit record again, but I used those same rub on transfers from Essential Stencil. And then that Farm Fresh is from the pack that I got off of Amazon. And these, I'm telling you, these rub on transfers from Essential Stencil are amazing. So now I'm taking this ribbon that I got from Michael's after Christmas. It was 90% off and I am making a finger bow. Now I'm going to show you, I'm trying to go as slow as I can with this so that you can see how I do it because I can't explain it to you, but I made a double bow here and then I'm just going to separate the ribbon so that you can actually see both loops, if that makes sense. You can see what I'm doing right here. Um, and then I am going to hot glue it after, I guess. I <laughs> do dovetail the ends and this is a thin wire, but it is, I mean, a thin ribbon. Oh my word, guys. Um, but it is wired, like the edges are wired. So now I am going to hot glue the bow to the top of the wood round. And I, you, you can see, I did some dry brushing around the edge of the, like the face, um, 
of the wood round as well. And now I'm just gonna fluff up the bow. And then I do kind of try to crinkle the edge, the, oh my word, Tammy. I'm trying to crinkle the tails to this bow because I don't really want it hiding the barn. But I also don't want to like tack it down like I typically do. And I don't know why I didn't want to do it, but I didn't. So I just left it. I left them free flowing. <laughs> but this is how it turned out. And I absolutely love this piece. Let me know what you guys think of this one. I just want to apologize for me stumbling over my words. It's been a busy few days, so um, I'll have more on that later. But for now, I want to thank Brenda, Amanda, and Chantel for hosting this amazing playlist. I absolutely love this theme. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a great big thumbs up for me. It really helps me out with YouTube. It lets them know that you enjoy my content and they'll push it out for others to enjoy as well. If you're new to my channel or coming over from the playlist, welcome. I hope you'll consider sticking around and hit that subscribe button and don't forget the bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a brand new video. I thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend with me and I will see you next time.